kids welcome back to the art room i got a beautiful gift today my neighbor brought me these aren't they gorgeous these are called tulips i love them i might do a painting of them later actually so i feel very lucky today so for today's project we are going to be making a collage a collage is a piece a picture made from lots of scraps of paper you can use fabric or paper or photographs or cut up into little pieces to recreate a new picture so this picture is by a famous artist called henry matisse and this picture is his version of a snail so little kids pre-k kindergarten first graders could do their snail by themselves but for the older kids i'm going to show you a different way to make our snail so what you're going to need is to find magazines all around your house all kinds of magazines and cut them up into many 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 squares in three different sizes so we have big sizes and medium sizes oops like this and then little mini sizes like this so when you've got your pile of squares all cut up i'd say you probably need about 30 little squares of all different sizes or the other thing you'll need is a scissors and some glue and if you don't have glue then you could use maybe some honey or a little bit of syrup just a teeny teeny little bit because it's very sticky but i'm hoping you all have glue of some kind in your house so while you go and cut up all your pieces of paper um, you can stop the video while you cut up all your squares and then when you come back i'll be set up and ready to show you how to make your snail okay all right i think we are ready we i have my paper now i'm lucky i have blue paper you might only have white paper but that's fine white paper for a background works too and before we begin i want to show you my snail so here is the snail i made i'm being very delicate because my pieces are not stuck down yet but you can see how a snail is in the shape of a spiral goes from the middle round and round and round and round to get up to his head so you're going to take your paper and maybe at this point you might need your mom or dad or somebody to help you make a spiral in the middle of your paper so i'm going to draw my spiral smaller bigger and bigger so there's my spiral and now i'm going to start to put all my little squares on so i'm going to start in the beginning of the spiral with the little little ones and all of these little squares are going to be overlapping they're all going to be one on top of another on top of another on top of another and as we go the squares are going to get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger there's a nice slightly bigger one and here I've got a nice purple. And then I've got a lighter purple. And what else have I got? Okay, there's pink and here's grey. And here's another orangey. And another purple. Now I'm starting to get a little bit bigger. Because now the snail is getting bigger and each one of these oh this one fits in here needs to overlap the next one so one is on top of another on top of another oh, this one's cute i better push him in over here he's got some hearts on it a little heart i like that 
So kids, if your if your papers have patterns on them, that's fine too. That might make it even more interesting. Yeah, I've got a big green. Oh, I forgot a small one, so I'm gonna move it in there. Nice red. Move them all around to fit. Take your time when it comes to arranging. There's another red. I'm getting around my circle slowly but surely. Now here's a sparkly blue. And there's an interesting brown. Now mine are pretty big. Purples, purples, blues. And then, uh-oh, I might be running out. Well, here's a big purpley one. And then right at the end, you could put the little snail's head like that. And maybe you could give him a little snail smile. Like this. And you could give him a little snail eye. The square one is fine. Wait, this should go the other way. Like this. And then, if you wanted to, you could give him little, little feelers coming out. Do you know how snails have those little feelers? I made mine straight, but you could make yours curly. There's his little feelers. And there is my snail. Oh, I forgot. Snails actually have a little piece sticking out the back too. Kind of like a little tail. So I think I'm going to make a little tail for mine. And put it right there. So there's my new snail. That didn't take long. So what you're going to have to do for sticking is you are going to maybe start in the middle and stick the first one and then that one on top that one on top of that one and you keep going round and round sticking them all one on top of the other or you could go the other way which is to make the face and put it on the purple and then stick the purple on that one but i think it's easier to start in the middle of the circle and go round and round and round when you have finished and everything's stuck here's mine again just to show you You'll be done. And this little snail made me so happy. I may hope it makes you happy too. See you next time. Good luck. Bye.